has been an awakening. Have you felt it? So that was the epic, jaw-dropping new teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Finally, J.J. Abrams and Lucasfilm has released the 88-second teaser trailer to their new film. And it's amazing! It feels like the entire franchise was reborn in 88 seconds of film. It's crazy! So let's get started breaking this trailer down. We see John Boyega, helmet off, in a new Stormtrooper armor, standing confused in the desert. We would assume that this desert is Tatooine, but that's not confirmed. Next we see a droid that looks like an R2-D2 dome head on a soccer ball. This droid looks really cool. And all I want to know is where can I buy one and how much does it cost? Seriously, Disney, just take my money. Take all my money. In the background of the shot we can see pod racers, so we can assume that we're still on Tatooine. Next we see lights flicker, and through that we can see stormtroopers with new helmets in military formation in some type of landing craft. So this trailer confirms the Empire is back. And not only that, but they're back in force. Apparently the Empire's been doing pretty well. So well in fact that they can redesign the stormtroopers armor and blasters. Blasters look awesome. They look like you can hold them in one hand, and they look a lot more modern and refreshed. So now we're back on Tatooine, and we see Daisy Ridley on a speeder bike or pod racer, speeding off very quickly, looking like she's on the run from somebody. Next, we're in the cockpit of the X-Wing with an unknown pilot. This confirms that the Rebel Alliance is back in action as well. They have also given their pilots a new helmet and flight suit. Three X-Wings fly low over a body of water on the surface of some unknown planet. The planet is mountainous and wintry. Leave me a comment down below if you know which planet this is, because I have no idea. Next up, we see a hooded Sith staggering through the forest. This could be the mystery planet mentioned above, he flings out his new lightsaber, which is redesigned, with the blade looking more like flames than plasma. The entire lightsaber is in the style of a traditional longsword. The entire shot makes me think that he's looking for something. Maybe a hidden Sith temple or something? We now see the Millennium Falcon doing a giant flip and barrel roll, which shows off the new cinematic style of this movie. Now the cameras will follow the ship, no longer static shots of dogfights. The camera will be in the action. Also, JJ still hides a few lens flares. That's right, J.J. Abrams. I saw it. I saw it. Two TIE Fighters are shooting at the Millennium Falcon, as usual. The interesting thing is the TIEs do not look redesigned. Although they may be painted white, it's hard to tell in the five frames that they're actually in. Finally, the classic Star Wars theme and title is back, followed by the date of the release. All in all, my mind is blown. The only surprise is that we didn't see the original cast, but I'm sure in another trailer we'll get to see more of that. From what we see, this film definitely has a J.J. Abrams look to it, which is wonderful. I can't even really rate this trailer versus anything else, because I'm too big of a Star Wars fan. Although I would put it side by side with his Star Trek trailers, which all have a similar look to this. My only hope is that we'll get to see a longer trailer at Star Wars Celebration. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and comment, and may the Force be with you, always.